Well, this is clearly judgment day for the man who is still, as we speak, UK Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, it is unsurprising that he has been uh, facing, confronting even, fierce questioning in the House of Commons. Uh, this after more ministers resigned today from his government and almost every few minutes yet another Conservative MP, uh, he or she, <coughs> publicly states uh, that they have lost confidence in their leader, the Prime Minister. Uh, this after, let's remember, the sudden resignations within minutes of each other, first of the Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, last night, and a few minutes later, Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. So the Prime Minister faces massive questions about his future. I said a month ago, and it is a month today, that there was a vote of confidence in the Prime Minister by his own party. 148 rebels, uh, as they're described, MPs, Conservative MPs, voted against uh, Boris Johnson. I said at the time uh, that it was a question of when, not if. I repeat that today. It's a question of when it seems not if the British Prime Minister uh, will have to quit. But it is clear that he is defiant, he is combative, he says he, it is his job and that he has a mandate uh, from 2019 and that 80-seat majority, uh, and also more recently having, although narrowly, won that confidence vote. But the fact that Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer said, uh, repeatedly uh, underlined these accusations that have been made uh, about uh, Chris Pincher, this MP, uh, who is accused of sexual misconduct uh, and the fact that Boris Johnson and his spokesmen and women had kept on changing the story and that Boris Johnson has, for the first time, come to the House of Parliament uh, to say that he greatly reflects the fact that Chris Pincher was promoted by him in his government. It clearly, with a majority, it would seem now of Tory MPs, is not going to wash. So... Basically, what we're watching is Boris Johnson clinging for political survival, yes, with a new health secretary, yes, with a new chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, but still massive questions hanging over his future. And what I'm hearing is I'm hearing that although the vote of confidence took place a month ago and the internal rules of the Tory party are normally that another vote could only take place in 11 months, things could actually go extremely quickly. I'm learning that there is a meeting tonight of this 1922 committee and that they could force through a change in rules and that a vote of confidence in the British, currently, Prime Minister Boris Johnson could happen, these are all unconfirmed reports, but could happen as soon as next Monday. Now, Benedict, do you think that if, there, if this uh, new second vote of no confidence does go, go forward, do you think that this incident with Chris Pincher is the straw that broke the camel's back? Could, or, could Boris Johnson survive yet another no confidence vote? Well, it will be for the Tory MPs to decide. Uh, but if there were another uh, confidence vote, uh, the feeling is uh, that people, uh, MPs who were loyal and voted for the Prime Minister, have now decided that this is just not only damaging him personally, not just damaging the office of Prime Minister and Downing Street, but damaging the Tory party, the Conservative Party, and its electoral prospects whenever uh, the general election uh, will be called, and also damaging the United Kingdom, and therefore that he's gone from completely from being a political asset to being a political liability. So I cannot predict when that uh, vote of confidence will happen. Um, but I, And I cannot predict, of course, the result of that. But the mood has really darkened in the last 24 hours. Um, and I think when you see a prime minister so consistently the butt of jokes so publicly that are so damaging, and the words on the brink across all the newspapers of whatever tendency today, uh, the fact that the resignation's excoriating letters of Rishi Sunak and Sajid Javid kept on talking about, uh, well, the lack of uh, leadership, that fresh leadership is needed, the words of dishonesty uh, and wrong leadership in all the mouths of so many Tory MPs, let alone resigning ministers, I think you can see a very embattled, besieged Prime Minister who is absolutely clinging on to the door to the furniture of 10 Downing Street, but it looks like his 
days, certainly, if not hours, are numbered. But, of course, he has survived so many times uh, all the accusations and scandals. Nobody can predict the future, but the Tory MPs will create the future when they have a vote of confidence, whenever that vote of confidence comes in Boris Johnson.